Hello, my name is Jason Miller, founder of AspenNow Solutions, and we're about to unlock the power of ServiceNow. I'd like to thank all 1,500 subscribers, uh, 1,544 in fact. Uh, if you're new to the channel and you believe in transferring knowledge to those who need it most, just click on subscribe. Promise not to share your user data uh, with any third party whatsoever. Okay, so today uh, what we're going to do is we're going to help out our Scrum Master and get them writing pretty much as prolific as Hemingway and kicking out these stories by adding the insert and stay feature to the RM story form. So anyway, when you're doing Scrum, you probably create stories and you're probably familiar with uh, this table, rmstory.list, and it houses our stories here. As you can see here, I added some calculations here because we use points um, to calculate like how difficult a solution is when we're um, trying to complete a story. So uh, when we click on new, it'll take us to our form here. So uh, you'll see right here in the hamburger menu, we do not have insert and stay. I don't know why they don't have this out of the box. It would really be a big help, but uh, there's no functionality like that. Uh, one thing I'd like to note before we get into the solution is that the copy incident video, which I did earlier in the year, uh, that functionality is a lot different than insert and stay. Insert and stay is basically you pull up a record like this one, then you add something to it like JM, and then you would go into the hamburger menu and hit insert and stay. It'll make a copy, and then uh, you'll see a new number come up here. Probably in your instance, uh, this number here is read only. It's a good practice to do that. Um, by applying a UI policy, you can make that happen. So we're going to go to rmstory.config, and then we're going to pull up the new UI action. You can click new, and it'll bring up a new one. Now I'm just going to show you the one that I've already created because we'll save a little bit of time by doing that. So I named it insert and stay. We have an action name here, um, story underscore uh, insert underscore and underscore stay. So you got it. And then you'll notice here it's inactive. I'm going to mark it active and save it in just a second. Put a little reminder in here for myself. So it's going to show on update. Uh, and then we're going to put it in our context menu, aka the hamburger menu, right? That's what we call our hamburger menu right here. And now let's get to uh, what I like to call the proof of the pudding, right? So right here, this is our code that's going to make it happen. I'll put this... Uh, in the uh, YouTube video description, so that way you have um, the ability just to cut and paste it if you like. But basically what this does is <clears throat> it creates a new record, but it also gives it uh, a unique number, or a new number, so that way you don't have uh, two records of the same number. All right, and before we get to um, activating it, I'd just like to mention that our sponsor, uh, Third Republic, which is the best-in-class solution, uh, for your staffing needs. So whether you're looking for a job or you're a corporation out there that's looking for ServiceNow developers, um, Third Republic is your go-to. They're based out of the UK, um, but they do have a global fo footprint. So I'll just scroll through here and let you um, rewind it at your own leisure later on. The person to contact for this is Brad Potter. Brad's a great guy. Um, he really has um, so an enthusiastic tone when you when you talk to him he's really engaging and I and I love that about um, the recruiters you know there's nothing worse than a recruiter that doesn't have a great personality and, and Brad is just uh, he's top of the heap here's Brad's uh, LinkedIn information so if you want to connect with him uh, you can say you saw the information uh, on Aspen now not a problem so now going back to our solution what am I gonna do click to active I'm going to save this and now we're going to go back to our form. So we'll remember here that um, I added some more comments. Let's just put here, add some comments for the video. Now, uh, I think I'm going to have to refresh this form actually. But you know what I'll do? I'll just bring this up over here. So I'm just going to do a command click. It's going to open this up in a set window. And now what we're going to do, add our comments. Now you're going to see insert and stay right here. Watch the number. Boom, 1 to 24. So that's probably the next one in the sequence. And now what I'm going to do is refresh the list of 
voila, we have a new record. And now our Scrum Master is going to be really happy because they can crank out as many stores as they want. They can use the same content. Uh, one thing I will note with this solution, just make sure you watch your state here because if you're going off of one that's like completed or whatever, uh, you're probably going to want to crank it back to ready before you hit insert and stay. Or you can go back into the record and the market ready or work in progress or whatever. My name is Jason Miller, founder of Aspen Now Solutions, and we've just unlocked the power of ServiceNow.